Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my look at the new Black Ice with testing how well Third Reich Events works with it, my mod. And so we're looking at that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit that like button. And so we will continue this. Canada, yes, we need more money. We get that by selling supplies or fuel. Because if you don't go back to the back, you can't skip ahead to pass the boring spots while it's live. Yes, you can go down um, nine point whatever. Um, I think it says on the first page of TRE what version of Black Ice. And I believe it's all still downloadable and older versions of the sub mods are still out there. Brett, if you want to go do that, I would recommend using all of the, the good sub mods. You can look at um, my tutorial, my my installation tutorial for both the standard and the advanced one, which is sort of adding more sub mods and things to it. So if you want to do that and play that now, um, weeks, not months, and I should be available. This should, we should become available with the newest version. Uh, Revolver Held is saying that. Um, GGA is ready to go, and I don't know. I think units of the Third Reich may already be. I don't know about the deworm stuff. What's all that? Those are with the new stuff. So if you want to do it now, go right ahead. Um, you want to wait a bit. Um, I'm definitely got work to do. Not major, well, significant work, but maybe not too many hours. And then I got more testing. So I don't know if we're doing this again next week. You know, looking testing or not we will see what happens with that okay mass events advanced very nice and high density alloys which and okay mass events is the one that um isn't it um oh here 38 let's see um Monroe effect, okay, basic, yeah, there we go, let's do that, we have slightly less, than, uh, not, you know, 2.8% of a, or, uh, I'm overstating it, point, well, whatever, a little bit less than a full. Naval doctrines. Well, Germany's pretty good on most of these. Okay, pilot train, there we go. Now, okay, notice I've reduced this. This one I have reduced down to just 50 metal, and that you need some steel reinforcing to properly lay all that concrete there for that. So, yeah, that's, that's better. That's appropriate. Um, I don't know that Tanganyika needs any updating. I really made Tanganyika to, it can operate just about anywhere. It, it's very, very self-contained. I mean, I'll probably look at it before I make a, you know, an official statement on the release page. But, um, as I will look at all of this stuff, because like my, you know, I have a mod that just adds, um, mostly to California um you know provincial pictures here that accurately portray the time period i don't think i changed los angeles but you know oceanside or this orange county down here basically gets 
a historical one. I just did the ones that didn't already have it in the mod, you know, Santa Monica and some of the areas around here. Unless somebody's changing the pic or the province number, you know, the identification number, I don't think, you know, anything would change in that mod. So some of my smaller mods just as are should just work with just about anything that doesn't overly F with the map uh, or, or some other stuff. And that's sort of how um, Tanganyika is as well. Okay, militia strength has increased, and that is um, not somewhere here. I don't know. Or is it up here? Who knows? Oh well, maybe it was a one and done, and I'm not seeing it. Okay. We still need to get to over 2,000 metal. Well, we're getting there. A few more days, no longer receive money for that. Okay, advanced education, very nice. Putting that too far ahead, but allows us, or basic education, allows us to go to advanced. Thanks, James. Yeah, it helps giving me time to be able to play this, and I was hoping it would be entertaining. I'm trying to not dev delve too deeply in the politics and history, but some of that, because I know you're interested in it, but enough to keep this sort of flowing too. Um, to be interested, great war analysis, we want to keep that going, I think. But it just the big warning is we're probably not getting to any point of um, in this in this series or playthrough. Um, we're probably if we're going to be doing this next week, we'll be starting at, at square one again and going through it again. Um, probably. I'm hoping not to have to restart this one mostly just because the starting is. I love the details of starting and setting up. I really do love that. Yes, I think the leader backstory is a lot of BS. But most of the stuff, I really love the details in, in, in the starting of it. But when you play like I have, 1936, over and over and over and over. And because you can't deal with a save, you have to properly, if you make any little changes, to see if the changes worked and see if they're working right. Like we have the, the problem with what I did to change this. Maybe just how I saved the file or something. I'll have to go in and look at that. But that was causing this to crash. It has not crashed since I went to this original. And I was just changing one minor thing. So I'm not sure why it was crashing. But um, it was. And so that needs to be tested from a fresh start. And then the Olympic stuff needs to go over and be tested again from the fresh start. I can do that on my own time, or if there's enough that I think we need to test ahead, other changes I make, we're going to have to start over anyways. So yeah, we'll be starting over from the beginning. So just, yes, okay, so yeah, just supplies and negative for, see it's until June, so it's basically a month. Well, no, it's no, it's basically um, not a month, it's basically seven days, seven, eight days we lose 6% to build this big monument, which is still there, and it was built um for the loss in world war one but sort of now includes the loss in world war two and it was i think maybe started before the nazis come to power okay bichromite chromite ice okay we know what i don't know quite how all this works here you know buying this stuff but basically they're getting i guess this through here and we just had a crash was it because I was looking there okay well let's come back over here and restart 
Um, we'll go to either the monthly save or the last safe slate. Save that meet. Question. Um, if an event is still open when the game crashes, will it still be? No, but it will. What, um, what will happen is... Hmm, it depends on how the event is coded. It may be permanently lost. It may refire again at the start of the next month. It sort of depends maybe on how it was coded. I don't understand your question. Why are you not clicking on the last pop-up? Because I can interpret that several ways, Brett. We, yeah, I'm, I'm already seeing creating worlds. You should, yeah, you should be seeing this here. Okay, so single player, saved games. Okay, well we were. Oh, well, no. Um, did it crash on the on the save? I don't think so. It should be because the autosave should be zero zero one. Okay, so we didn't lose much time, and that may be because we did have that window open. Um, by coming to the autosave, a lot of the events that may have been popping up in June won't pop up in June now. They'll pop up in July. Interesting. Have they improved the combat model? Um, if you're talking the AI, no, the modders don't have ac um, access to the combat AI, if that's what you're talking about. Um, if you're talking about something other than the combat AI, please be a little more specific with your question, and then I might be able to give you an answer. Hello, Raghar D. Ishi. That's the one AI that I know we don't have access to as modders and can't for, for all practical purposes have access to it. Because it's compiled in as part of the core bit of the program. That's why we're not moving forward. Let's speed this up. Okay, well, we're not going to pay much attention to that, but I was going to say that I think by having those effects is sort of maybe replacing that or moving it to there i or when you i don't know it's their new thing buy zinc from the U, united states i don't know if it's worth all the hassle advanced center training okay um met when two divisions would be in combat like simulating combat ranges camouflage and other stuff hmm okay well Yes, they have done a lot of work to that, I guess is what you're saying. In the sense that um, here, if you, and I don't know, well, I don't know exactly what, what you're looking at here for, for Black Ice, but for like combat or camouflage designs, which the German army did have, um, you can see here this changes. All the units are still defensiveness, tough, toughness, um, speed, um, and you can various things so they do have a bunch of things that will affect that um, and as well as operational doctrines here 
say artillery unit affects organization affects morale there's a lot of that kind of stuff the actual mechanics of how it works with in the thing no they can't get in and touch that but they can affect how units are modeled i guess is what you're looking at what would be the elite combat troops um uh, okay i'm not exactly sure well, there's like special forces stuff here. I don't know where you, um, what we're looking at here. Um, we do have, uh, well, there's like engineers. I don't know what we're seeing, what you're trying to see where you're getting it. Cause, um, you know, you have like paras and that. The special forces, these are for like paras, marines, light infantry, you know, landing, air landing, um, commando. Oh, elite commando units. Yeah, these are, um, they set up uh, commando units and air commando brigades. If that's what you're talking about, there'll be brigades that you add to other units, you know, to other divisions. If that's what you're talking about. Okay, what is okay, advanced training centers and that's in Blitz Creek, okay. Blitz Creek is a new one to me. This Okay, air liaison frontline targeting force. Okay, let's do that. There is a wide ranging in this a wide ranging types of brigades we can just look at the different brigades here um and we can come over you look click the whole division and so you could do like light armor motorized infantry so they add the brigades there um you can do um medium artillery you'll need say you can have horse transport german light vehicle civilian transport or truck transport later on we'll you'll get like half track transport um, you'll want a divisional headquarters to the division. You can add like motorized engineers since this is a motorized force. Um, we have medium artillery. Let's see for reconnaissance. Where's our recon troops and all of this? Um, like motorcycles, or you could have gone um, with that. And I think until we expand it. Tank just yeah. This is the number seven brigades allowed. We will there is a tech that will allow us an eighth brigade. What if you want to change some of the if you don't want to do individuals, you can come over here and do a, a motorized mixed support unit which has um elements from artillery and engineers if you want to do that, and then um say have it a, a heavier um infantry organization or you could um well we only have light and infantry tanks but later on we'll get heavy armor you know like tigers you could so you could have a, a standard um tank brigade or panzer brigade and then also have a heavy like tank destroyer which you know like the oliphants or the yag panther type thing added to it so there's a lot of detail that you can get in with the divisions now so an elite unit because I, I don't think James played this is why I'm sort of explaining some of this to him um, an elite brigade on its own probably would get destroyed in, co in combat almost immediately against almost any sort of division that's anywhere good but you can add it to one of these other units they even have conf group a units that are sort of combined arm stuff that you can add to some of these other units here to make sort of better or super divisions, if you will, to sort of stimulate things like Panzer Lair and other events. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of micro in this, James. A lot of good micro, in my opinion. Um, some people may not like all this stuff, but I certainly do. 
advanced training so we're getting advanced training officer recruitment is down um, okay because of it I'm not quite sure why I mean that's basing off of um, this here but I guess we'll get more training center recruitment organization stuff on monumental architecture okay that's over um, here so we'll stop that with that and seaport capabilities um, okay there are 37 okay we're staying away from 37 now focusing on 37 if you push ahead on technology the further ahead the the worst penalties there are 37s are not bad but you might as well try to do the 36 technologies first unless you really feel you need to rush something early so black ice is definitely if james hasn't played the standard um hearts of iron 4 is definitely more complicated more stuff to deal with black ice is the in my opinion what really makes um hearts of iron 3 playable and still the best hearts of iron available even with four out there and so we will have four till september 36 down in ic supplies and money to build our prove all of our seaports which will help things but we will want to do that yeah um it very well may take an, an upgrade on computers um black ice did get me to upgrade the computers in the olden days and then hearts of iron 4 got me to do my last upgrade so now that we have i'm not going to click on those things again that may crash i don't know i don't know i'm going to report some of the crashing and i don't know if other people are seeing the stuff um we get plus one percent money and plus one percent on resources for a more efficient seaport usage for trade are there any texts that you need to go first any oh absolutely um now it's all very well grayed out things and you can hover over the grayed out things and see that um, torpedo auto loading system needs submarine technology at least level one which we have but needs submar uh, submarine class submarines at least five which presumably we don't have i guess it's the standard submarines not the um long range ones it needs to be at least five and submarine torpedo tubes must be at least four and that would be submarine torpedo tubes down here must be at least four and we're right now on on level three we can start well in third well we can start now but that's too far in advance but we could be pushing that so yes you, there are prerequisites to get things to get further things down but it's all sometimes the prerequisites and the composition gets too much to be displayed on the screen um but they're all here and it is very well modded better than anything i would say paradox did with the game and so yeah there i of course go for um nation building slash industrial type techs first because hey we're not at war and things that improve your fighting ability right now um are you know now useless because we we're not fighting anywhere uh where but now that i've got all of the techs i can in sort of infrastructure type things going effectively then i'll start looking for other stuff and a real primer in this stuff is either playing it a lot and figuring things out James or getting mine or there's other people you can Benjamin Magnus does some good playthroughs and other things of Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice you really need to watch and you can watch and play someone and so that's many hours and if you have two screens you can watch and play to see how it's done So it's not just me okay well we need to do try to do some big trades and we're losing some of these because some of these smaller nations 
what happens with the smaller nations like Argentina, it'll save up a bunch of cash and then go, we want lots of supplies for all of our money. Then it runs out of money and then it stops. So I try not to, even if they have a cushion of, um, of money, I try not to um, overly send stuff to them be on there because I just look at their surplus that they're producing a surplus not that they have more in the bank as it were let's see if Japan if we can sell supplies to Japan okay very likely okay they use they got 15 so let's see if we can do give them a little bit of cushion um, let's go back USA is normally coded to buy supplies even if they don't need them oh they're wrong in the wrong direction there we are um even if they don't necessarily oh, they don't have any money right now mm, yeah okay they don't have money Let's see fuel anybody running a deficit in fuel yes okay you know king but they don't have money they don't have money they don't have money they have barely any money Juku can't trade because it's a puppet uh portugal they have some money they could use some fuel so let's see if they'll buy fuel nope they're not buying fuel they just oh no we're still in the u.s i didn't click right okay um now we'll try to sell them nope they don't either like us or don't want to buy fuel let's see if they'll buy supplies nope must be that they don't like us salazar who doesn't like hitler isn't they've got money and they need fuel australia will you buy no nope, you don't like us we've been Bit of a naughty nation here are you occupying our let's see if argentina will no oh, let's see if you can sort of um no they're not okay who has lots of money iran they're actually <laughs> we don't want to sell we're buying oil from them we don't want to sell it back to them soviet union has Producing a surplus, but they might buy. No. Okay, well. Norway. Norway needs supplies and fuel. See if we can give them. Sell them supplies. No, they don't like us. Mexico? Hmm? Crude, though, not fuel. Not supplies. See if they'll do supplies. Okay, well, good. Um. Okay, they're doing see they might buy this money but they'll just well no there's okay 17 supplies but six or seven yeah let's see um there we go it'll be something of an income in but we're way being hit way harder because some of the stuff has fallen through No longer receive that. Come on, nations. Pony up. Buy supplies. Okay, well, we right now have a positive benefit of 84 for steel. So we're going to come here and we're bringing in, I mean, it's hardly costing us anything, but we're going to cancel our steel imports, including from Sweden or metal imports but whatever it's mostly steel okay and okay well we're at a positive by 13 for rare materials so what can we cancel that will get us Finland okay small one another small one bulgaria will leave because we want good relations with bulgaria okay okay oil nine from oil iran we want to keep that going 25 italy italy crude we're buying oil from italy let's stop all of the italian oil buying Okay, hopefully that will help. Well, it will help some, but. Oh, 
Okay, sure, Plunk Doctrine. Whoa, um... Smoke. I think that's... Is that down here? Or over here? Here, okay. Well, we're still in 36, so we'll continue with that. Not as bad, but... Well, Saudi Arabia might need... Supplies? Oh, well, briefly, it went... Very likely, okay, well, we'll do that. Brazil, they got lots of money. They might want fuel or... Okay, um, they need 13. I don't want to give them more than they want, so they will build up a stockpile and then stop trading. Don't know if these guys, we can trade with them, can we? No, I think it may be structurally impossible, meaning that I think they're landlocked. Or are they the ones in the south? I don't know. Norway didn't want to do that. Will Switzerland buy supplies? No. Well, that's a little bit more money. That could be IKB. That could be, because I have not played, I mean, other than last week's test, I have not played the new version that's dealing with all of that. Okay, we don't really need to make the Admiral Hipper right now. So I want to expand my industrial capacity. Looking for see if any of these have gotten completed. No. Oh, well, these guys did it, I think, or I didn't have them. I know I'm pretty sure I had one in production there. Yeah, I think that got added. And of course, the more factories I have, the more resources I'll need. Which is, of course, a problem, but hey, if we don't build up our industrial capacity, that isn't, things aren't going well. In the long run, okay, let's just to move this to the top. Um, let's, here in the east, away from likely bombing. We'll add a few more. Let's make sure the ones that are already in production. No, we'll do that here. Do that. Get to the top. Might as well get them finished sooner so that they will get the others. Get to building the others. Okay, good to know, IKB. I have not been following it that closely enough to know. Oh, now that we're doing Let Them Eat Cake, we're all green for revolt risk. Everywhere is getting enough supplies because there's no surprise units on the map. Intel mode, we don't really have much intel around. Terrain mode. Those of you who aren't used to playing this, simplified ter terrain mode just doesn't look as pretty, but gives you the, the information in more brutal form. 
no national flags. We can see the weather mode. See, every province has, again, this, uh, unlike some of the other games, this, uh, this game is hour by hour um, through, throughout the day, 24 hours a day. And so the weather, based on time of year, June up here, it's snowing, you know, up in the Arctic. So everywhere the weather is, you know, um, and it's hour weather by weather. You can see here the day-night cycles. Of, is it day or night and where on the parabellum? going through that of that okay steel casting armor is advanced and that is an, uh, uh, a highly technical thing okay we'll let this continue casting armor is, is a something of a hard thing to do so we'll get rid of that because it uses more resources to try to deploy all of that oh come on I'll get off this map oh, well, I need to collect it over to here so but that's all going you're just not seeing that um, I don't care. You theater, if you want to micromanage the theaters and set this up as three theater, or have the theaters here and have the AI do it, don't. It doesn't do things well. Air map, we can see the ranges of the air units from their bases, where they can go. You know, you click on different. Click on yeah, this is a super big base, and you can then it'll highlight that is how far that air unit can go okay okay money shortage in national revolt risk okay public secretary that is effed up okay but whatever um we'll stop that okay so it's not i don't um okay importation um well export what is exporting money here the netherlands rare materials that's got to be a big one Okay, let's stop. That isn't actually working right now, so we'll officially stop that for crude oil. Oh, we're going to run out of that. Let's stop other rare materials. Huh. Thinking this is a little too harsh on things. Oh, this is stupid big because of this money thing that they're having us worry about. Oh! Hello. How are you doing? We're having a calm moment after getting upset here. I have a fundamental disagreement with the Black Ice developers, and it goes back to when Panzeru was in charge. This is not the government budget. This is not Germany running out of money. Unfortunately, and if you notice, TRE, unlike, well, maybe you haven't been noticing, but unlike Black Ice, rarely ever uses money as a cost for things, unless... It is a cost that I think that is an international cost. So like when Germany is sending race cars to France, and it's a very small amount of money, I have them charge some money because, it, because they're having to go and spend money in a foreign country. Germany or any of these nations, this is foreign exchange. This isn't budgetary. This is, this is foreign exchange related. Germany did have a serious problem with foreign exchange, meaning it wasn't selling enough uh, supplies or radios or toasters or whatever it would have been to Britain for the amount of, say, resources it was trying to buy from Britain. And it also didn't have enough gold or silver reserves because Britain wants to be paid in English pounds. So if it's selling something to Britain and getting paid in English pounds, it could then buy stuff within those English pounds, or maybe they'll take French francs or US dollars, but some, they don't really want large supplies of Reichsmarks unless they're buying, say, a lot of radios from Germany. So this is for an exchange. This would not cause massive need that it's going negative, massive need for consumer goods. 
the German populace would hardly notice most of this stuff, except, and there were very strict controls on this, when they sh went to the office and go, hi, I want to buy some French francs because I'm going to go traveling overseas. Only when they were traveling overseas or specifically goods and Germany did not want them saying buying French automobiles, they wanted them buying German automobiles. So trying to buy foreign made goods or trying to, and they could, most Germans could get money to travel overseas, but it was limited. Some of the, you know, the bicycle tours around Europe and other stuff were partially because people may have had the money to do it, but go traveling around, but Germany wasn't quite letting them have lots of extra cash. Um, so there were con currency controls. Now, if you were a foreigner and you were wanting to come to Germany and you had U.S. dollars, French francs, whatever the Belgian or Dutch, you know, guilders or whatever in the Dutch, I don't know what the Belgians used at the time, um, had a bunch of that currency, they were glad to exchange it for Reichsmarks. But don't exchange a bunch of money for Reichsmarks and then when, it, when you're getting ready to leave... Get that, oh, well, I only spent half the money. Uh, oh, well, you can keep it for the next time you visit Germany, you know, or spend it quickly before you leave. So there were currency controls, and the people would notice that. But not just because we're getting low or even if we go into the negative. That's a lot of BS, in my opinion. So this is where I have a fundamental disagreement with Black Ice. And... For my big playthroughs, I've gone into for some of the stuff and ripped out. Sometimes going in then and, and substituting a what I think is a similar amount or maybe the exact same amount in supply cost for some things and some of their events, as well as for some of the events happening. Go, you need to have X amount of money in your bank account to be able to have this event fire. Now, if the event fire is like oh those trades for international resources yeah i totally agree that that's what it's for for international exchange but yeah no this effect i i don't all this should be is canceling other trays which would then may mean we are short of oil or or rare materials or stuff so yeah okay that's the rant Hope it was enjoyable. And no, I don't think I can get them to change their mind. All I can do is mod my own stuff my way and mod theirs when I play it my way. But I don't release the I don't I won't release publicly changes to their stuff. Uh you know, if I go in and rip everything out that I do for my myself. Unless it's something that it's a balancing issue that I'm doing specifically dealing with black or with TRE but otherwise I don't I mean so I do make changes to their stuff but it's only the stuff that I'm sort of touching and affecting also uh, okay so we have a little more technology we're almost to 94 percent officers we're still in 36 so I really don't care about officers other than I don't want to be at a massive deficit of officers once we get into a war and actually I want a bonus because we will be losing officers in combat, and I don't want to go below 100%. I think you up to 110% you get bonuses. Beyond that, it's just a, a pool waiting for, for casualties replacement, basically. But having a, a surplus of officers will be a benefit. Um, somewhat over 100% is a benefit more than just that. And what's Brett saying? Yeah, but the money, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do it simply by reducing it down if this continues. Ordering the Bismarck. Yes, we will order the Bismarck. Okay, laid down in Hamburg. Oh, lovely. Well, but at least we have the metal. Good. Um, so laying that down.
And see, that will be that after the 1st of July, all of the June stuff that was supposed to happen now happened because we did the... The autosaves are good, but the autosaves at the first of the month keep you from the right check for it. So broadcasting programs, good. Monumental architecture, we'll see the plans. We're going to start production, rare materials and supplies. Yes, we can afford this. You don't get a choice. Okay, Walter Vaver gets seen. He's a good pilot, though. He's an older guy, but the ground crew and Walter Vaver dies. So, um, focus. Yeah, we'll do the, the tactical dive bombing focus as opposed to um, just not. But either way, you have this Max Schmeling champions there this time. Okay. Heinrich the first death. Himmler thinks he's reincarnation from I uh, from there. Okay, see so now this is an event that after building Panamunde, you get some manpower back because they were up there doing the construction work. Sure thing. And I and James, if you want to go back to my older my last two playthroughs of, of Germany, I talk a lot about history and I will want to talk about the history in detail when we um, play it for real, but we're just covering this lightly. Okay, twin engine bomb bays have advanced. Okay, that's to 1940 level, so is there another 36 technology to research now in aircraft? We'll be back for more. Okay, submarines, 36 technologies. Escorts. Oh, okay. Small ship armament. Um, or small ship engine. We'll do armament first. And Stefan Lux shoots himself in the head in, in the um, balcony um, of the um, League of Nations. Okay. Tag der Essay Gruppen Nordsee. De, tag is day if I'm not mistaken in German so this is sort of talking got the poster and a, a photo from the event and the tinny which is um, sort of a badge which is a badge not sort of a badge but it's sort of like a medal but it's cheap metal that you buy um, to help supply uh, or help fund things in, back in Germany you would buy tinnies um, not necessarily made out of tin but um, that's what they were called tinnies You'd buy them. They were sort of fundraising. So, you know, they cost, say, I don't know, the equivalent of a dollar or two nowadays uh, or something. But, you know, they're making them for 10 cents or some sort of cheap amount of, of money so that there was a profit margin in it. And, yeah, on your like your SA uniform or something you could wear it for like the day, it wasn't uh, something you would collect a lot of badges and wear on your SA uniform. But for the event day, because the SA man would have paid for it, would get to... Thanks, IKP and Harno, for all of the, the cheering, as it were. Uh, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, you could put it on your uniform for the day, but it wasn't an accumulation of, of other sort of badges, proper party badges. But civilians and non-SA member, you know, party members would be encouraged, more encouraged than, than any sort of strong arm tactics, to buy tinnies for the SA. But they were doing it for all organizations, all kinds of things would have even well everything eventually becomes national socialists in germany and i have things for like the national socialist garden society for for hamburg or something like that every single organization becomes a national socialist organization if it's going to exist in germany but all kinds of things would have tinnies that are not even even remotely idea with um you know with any sort of sa type things that you might be doing so this so i found all this for this day so this is one of them so popularity and it's just sort of representative of many of these things going on all over germany all the different time and so this was supposed to fire back in june 36. okay yes the schweitzer national front um this was one of the um uh national socialist groups in Switzerland. They were banned from having foreign political parties. So they set up um, Nazi parties that were very Swiss in, in look and feel. Okay, start the program, the Westwall Pioneer Program, which is what it was called, is the Pioneer Program at, at the start. This starts building stuff. It sort of ends in 1939 or 40. 
Um, so this should take, I have a huge, um, because just because again, it was to pull down, we do have a huge resource in um, overly done. We've reduced it down to what I think is a more reasonable amount of metal because yes, there's a lot of concrete reinforcing as well as like steel and placements to where you would mount the guns for the bunker. A couple examples, you can see the door entry here, uh, sort of a, another sort of door thing. This is the main firing port here. Uh, I think the main firing port is here for this. This is the door. You can see, you know, cover the door, cover the flank. And these are put in, that's a, the tote symbol. So we are starting this. You want to do this. You can decide, you, if you say no to this, and I got to make sure that the, um, any sort of west wall stuff is removed from black ice because they may be doing their own thing. I want to mine. Um, if you don't do this, you have to build them simply by coming in here and building fortifications. You can do it. I think it's going to cost more. I haven't done all the math on it, but um, you very much probably want to do this. Okay, return manpower back to the pool from airbase production. I want to just make sure we don't have a bunch of airbases or something waiting no, to be moved to the top of the list. Okay, we're now in a positive zone, but we're uh, negative on that. Okay. Um, oh, no decline. We don't have the money. We would give them no. We don't need to do this. Okay, what? Oh, I don't know. I agree with you now. Okay, you guys are just chatting amongst yourselves. Cool. Okay, new industrial zone that is so more I see takes some resources down a little bit, which is good, but we are and that is construction. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so yeah, there we want to stop that. Now we'll come over here for small warship engines, get those researching. Get them somewhat up to date. And the Sudite or the Sudeten Deutsch Partei, that's what it's called. This starts what's needed if you want if you want to have Czechoslovakia dismembered without invading, you will and you there will be some choices coming. This is more just info, informational coming up. You will want to do that, otherwise you will not be um able to do that without in invading. Oh, I wanted to look, uh, make sure we have, okay, we still have mass, too much massive consumer goods. Uh, hopefully that effect will come off. Okay, some supplies, yes, sentry boxes. Okay, we could give them money. No, we're, we're trying to rebuild up our money. We're trying to rebuild up our money. We're trying to rebuild up our money. We're trying to rebuild up our money, no. Well, it, the still needing massive amounts of consumer goods, so not entirely, no. Oh, we're also eating into our supplies heavier than I like. Okay. Um, no, we want to increase this. Um, yeah, we'll lock that one down. We're going to reduce our upgrades. because We don't need the upgrades now. I just normally let them happen. You know, it is probably better to keep going with that. Yeah, money. Oh, what? I thought we had solved them. Well, okay. Uh, maybe just felt that it got. Okay. Um, production. What are we exporting money here? Okay. 28. Okay. Well, let's. Can I get some sales? Okay, Iran, no, we don't want to sell. Can we sell supplies? Oh, well, there's a briefly possible. 
There we go. Well, it's three supplies for a teeny bit of money, and it's still better than nothing. Okay, they might do fuel, but they don't probably like us much. Oh, well. Oh, 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 okay. They have 53, and they need 18. No, um, oh, they need a lot. So let's go with a lot. 40. Okay, Venezuela, do they, they might do supplies. No. I know we're United Kingdom. They have money. They need fuel and supplies. Let's see if they'll buy fuel. No. Did it say briefly? No. No. Let's try. It's just easier for me to clear. Okay. Sell them. Supplies here. What do they need in supplies? Oh, massive. They've got 30 money. So let's see. Since we got them, we're talking buying big numbers. Let's go. Um, Canada. They have a deficit. Pressure plus Portugal. They. I don't know if they like me yet enough. Let's try. No. Okay. That, if we can keep those trades going, that'll really benefit us. And we'll get back to buying some more fuel and or oil. Okay, there's a photo of... I think that's the Hindenburg, and that's the Graf Zeppelin there. I think that's the case. Yeah, pretty sure. That's the Hindenburg. That's the Graf Zeppelin. Um, fly together over Frankfurt. I thought that was a cool photo. That's mostly what what's going on. I'm not actually sure that that isn't a period, quote unquote, Photoshop. I mean, it's a period photo. I didn't, and I don't. It's not photoshopped in a modern sense in there. But I don't know whether they actually were in that sort of good camera framing. Okay, giant infrastructure projects advanced. Okay, uh, that was part of their nation. Yeah, okay. We'll stop that research. But more ICs, reduced efficiency, naval strike tactics. I think we're probably going to let those go. That's under air. Yeah, we'll let those go. And they have tactics. The July settlement with Austria, they had been banning us, or had been banning us. I mean, they've been banning the um, NSDAP because an SA man killed the prime minister. Not on Hitler's or the Nazis' orders. He just thought he was, it was a good idea to, you know, overthrow the Austrian government and put the Nazis in charge. And the fascist government of Austria didn't like that. The Fatherland Front is very much a fascist, not a Nazi organization, a fascist organization. Okay, well, let's see. We can do medium fuel tank or, I don't know if we're going to, well, four engine does help us on some things, but medium fuel tank here will be good. I sometimes think, I don't know if you've, any of you have ever seen the short video of two dogs just barking at each other, barking at each other, barking at each other, and then um, the gate sort of opens up and there's nothing um, separating them, and then they go, oh, well, I'm not really mad enough to actually like fight you. I thought we were separated by the gate, so we'll stop. Yeah, well, okay. Um, Arno's the uh, guy with the sword on his, his, um, his tag. He gets the cyber bully. Because he gets to do the chop. Okay, um, this costs money because Hitler Youth Bicycle Trips. Hitler Youth receives formal welcome at um, Hove Railway Station in Britain, um, Sussex. July 1936, this is where the photo is from. Should we keep sending 
Hitler Youth cycling trips, especially the Hitler Youth, which in 36, these are, you know, teen boys, they'll be soldiers in World War II, so they will have bicycled around places, not just Britain, but so that costs us money. Again, that's dealing with our foreign currency situation because it's overseas bicycle trips going around. So yes, is that spying or scouting? I don't mean boy scouting, I mean as in scouting for future, where's the railway station? How far is it from the town? You bicycled it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bernard Rossmer marries Ellie Beinhorn. Um, that's her. That's him. He's a race car driver. She's a pilot. Female pilot, obviously. And she's an aviatrix. You can. We'll talk more about her later on. And hello, Zoltan. What is the automotive industry strategic resource do? Also, the nylon one. Okay. Um. These. Uh. Well, this does officer recruitment costs money. Um. National unity. Air ba air build speed is reduced here. You can see here industrial zones. National unity. Um. Oldenburg. Some of. They sort of tweak some of this stuff, and I'm reluctant to go over to the strategic effects because they've caused crashes before, and I really don't want to cause more crashes. At least I think that is um, the cause of some of the crashing situations. So we won't look at it more, but they all go in, and I do have an event or a video, I think, covering some of this in the tutorial sections on my channel. It may be out of date because they've been changing things with black ice. So we'll look at things in more detail when we can really sort of take the time. No, we're still trying to build up more money. Okay. Okay. Turkey, what does Turkey want to do? We give the money for rare materials. Thanks, backing up truck. Um, okay. Capital ship raiders. As you can see here, it's improving. Makes them harder to spot. Better convoy attack. Might be the. That might be enough. Oh, stop. Um, enough for me to actually want to. My experience with capital ship raiding is mostly they just die. And don't kill enough to make it worth the cost of them dying. Mm, oh, let's do troop flotillas, passenger ships. Okay, yeah, we want to do that. Um, no, not now, not now, not now. I want to get to like 2,000 money again. Hopefully that will remove this effect of huge consumer good demands I know I could probably just yeah uh, but do remember if you tag switch save the game before you tag switch and start again because it ruins your game in black ice if you tag switch for even a second it ruins the game you might not realize it at first but it ruins it so if you want to tag switch, just save the game, tag switch, and then fully leave it and load the save in, you know, fully get out of the game and start over fresh. And then it's okay. You go back before the tag switch. Just remember that's very much so with black ice. Nothing, nothing works properly after that point.
Yeah, we ran. Okay, we're doing that because it's small. We can afford it, and I want to build up good relations with them. No longer receive money for fuel. No longer see. Oh God. Okay. Well. Just too big of a thing. Let's see what we can try to do here with Britain again. No, nope, they're saying impossible. No. Nope. Okay, well, it's at least a little something. I need to build this up to like 2,000 plus and then try to stop the bleeding again. Tag switching is, I won't do it, but I'll sort of show it. You hit the, the tilde thing here on the keyboard and it comes up with this and then you type in tag and then a space and then the country the three the three letter code for country german ger is for germany usa is for usa obviously um and you do that and then you will be now playing as the other country and um the it sets up a lot of events and effects are based on whether it's human or ai and it doesn't even have to take the clock to to go one second and it does that so you don't want to do that under normal circumstances. Nocter Amazonian. Um, this is a rundown in um, Munich. Wherever Munich is it in, in Munich. Here, sort of an, a party day for the Nazis. Yay. The Nazi party headquarters day. Actually, sort of fun party type party. No, no, we're trying to build up our money. Okay, who can we do some more deals with? Soviet Union now needs supplies and fuel. So let's see what we can... Nope, they're not buying fuel from us, at least right now. Nope, don't like us. Canada. No, did I get a C flash? No. Switzerland won't buy. Can't. Okay, Czechoslovakia. They need supplies. They have a little bit of money. Um. Okay. So they're get a three. There we go, that'll help. Well, they have a bigger deficit, but I don't want, I want to keep it based on what they can actually afford. USA wants fuel. Well, they don't have any money. Yeah, they're not going to do that. I think there are too many bad Great Depression effects. Okay, yes, build air bases in West Prussia, and we gotta, I'm remembering to come down here and bounce them to the top of the production queue because they'll cost zero and immediately spam that. And the effects should be cheaper than building them all manually, though, they, though the effect does cost. It's not free, as it were.
First show trial. Okay. Spanish Civil War breaks out. Three continents in one day. Ellie Beinhorn flies from Germany to Hungary to refuel, then to, um, where is, I don't, rec uh, that's the Syrian flag, I guess, then to Egypt. So from Europe to Asia to Africa in one day. So first person to do that. Now this is my updated, I should change the text too, but um, some Olympic posters featuring Coca-Cola for the 36 Olympic and a pin from the 36 Olympics featuring Coca-Cola. Again, they were a major sponsor. That'll get us some money from all the foreign tourists. Get more money in the summer than the, than the Winter Olympics. This is a much bigger deal. We're going to still reorganize the war ministry. Though instead of a likely to be a negative effect, now it's a 50-50 between a negative and a positive. But I don't really care either way. Oh. Or wait, I don't quite get our nose typing there or Coke, something like that. The NSKK were also sort of a national highway patrol as well as a training program. So that's sort of the NSKK being in the policing role. And particularly, they were the police for the Autobahn. Not that they, as you saw there, they would also police within city limits as well, but out um, all the new people. There weren't that many, but all the people driving out on the Autobahn. New construction zone. Okay, now um, we should have gotten some events set up for um, some of these, but see it says money, at least 2,000 metal. That's some of the stuff that I've pulled the money out of, and maybe we should pull metal out of, in my opinion. I don't know. Supplies, again, I say supplies should be the cost, not money. But that's me and what I've done. Okay, heavy cruiser, blucher, blucher. I thought that's a nice photo. That's a photo of the blucher, the um, band from the sailor's cap, and a picture of the guy. Okay, lose metal. Hey, yeah, we can afford that. That's in line. And the Spanish Civil War intervention in there. Will there be another event? Oh, yes, you may have energy. Okay, well, let me explain. There are two different types of Coke, drinking type and, oh, this, this would be the drinking type, yes. Artillery unit training advanced. I think that is going to be... Uh, that's here, yes, 37, so we'll stop that. For now, at least... Maybe AA against it. Maybe the one that's. Yeah, push way too far ahead now. If I get to where I've got all the 36 technologies that I want done, well, this is fine. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. Okay, Tippett, thanks for joining us. Do appreciate having you here. We give them money for rare materials. No, we are trying to build up our reserves of cash. They're buying zinc from us. Is that somehow going to give us money? Money shortage imminent. Okay, we've lost the effects of this. So consumer goods plus 
We've lost the effect of that. Oh, well, it did give us a huge amount of money. Okay, so they bought our zinc from us. And so we're no longer, we've got that out, and that got us no longer being under the effects of that. So that goes back to where that quote-unquote should be. Okay, well, we'll keep that right about there. That will get us much more producing and hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep, let's before we start we want to buy oil so we can buy some oil from the US okay 42 so let's see if we can buy Well, that looks good. Um, the Netherlands. They have a surplus of money, but let's see if we can buy some oil that we don't have to ship a long ways. Okay, I don't want to buy more, because they will at times, if they have a large enough reserve of oil, you know, pool of oil stored up, sell it. But I, again, don't want these to be short term, so I'm trying to not push them into being um, pushing them into the negatives to be short term I want to keep them going long term okay Ecuador give them money for rare materials No, thank you, Mexico. No, thank you. And because of things we can do, prove security units. Okay. We want to do entertainment shows because that will reduce our need for consumer goods. It could be strategic resources sort of assumes that people will buy stuff from you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I read it. I'll no longer receive money for the supplies, damn. Okay. Okay, this is just Energy Magazine covering the Olympiad. Mm. Decline because we've got to sell more crap. Okay, Iran, no, do they want fuel maybe? Could we interest in them in some fuel? No. Venezuela, USA has money. They could use some fuel. Could we sell USA some fuel? No, we're still on wrong country. No, we just dealt with, dealt with them, they won't. trade with us immediately okay they have some money oil no. mm. don't want to do any of those trade offices I don't want to spend this big pile of money on anything at all so I want to get my positive trade balance going but we don't need plus 18 Dietrich Bonhoeffer, I redid his image for the Hearts of Iron 4 version, and now I've ported that image back here. He was part of the, um, uh, oh, I forget, uh, well, he wrote a bunch of books, um, the author of The Cost of Discipleship, um, oh, the, I forget the name of the, the, the church organization that they were, that was uh, anti-Nazi Protestant church grouping. Okay, I guess I can cut back on some of that, but I would prefer to find people I could sell to. Can we sell again? No, not to the U.S. yet. No, 
Will we buy a supply or two? No. I know we've checked before, but Portugal. No. Silver medal for sculpture. Before World War II, um, things like sculpture was, um, and that's to Arno Becker, um, was um, they did medals for stuff, and it wasn't just the 36 Olympics in Germany, but they did other things than um, just pure sporting events. After World War II, medals for other things like sculpture and whatnot associated stopped this is um a marine or naval type naval not as a necessarily military naval but um marine architecture like ship hull design and whatnot a society so yeah it cost us a bunch of supplies but support the research I hate having these things up here because I keep wanting to see what it is. Okay, and we're going to we're going to keep the live stream going, so nobody go anywhere unless they need to. But we're going to be stopping the um, the video on YouTube. So if you haven't already, please like the video. Um, if you haven't, also subscribed. And of course, I love hearing your comments, so please post them below. Thanks so much. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.